Our morning typically starts at around 7 a.m. Harlow usually wakes up once per night. In the past two weeks, actually, she's slept through the entire night. <laughs> usually I'm woken up by her screaming bloody murder and wanting food, but today that didn't happen. Pull her out. I'm pulling out my Hakka ladybugs. It catches all the milk throughout the night, the day, etc. Then I breastfeed her on either side and try to remember to burp in between. I also have been logging everything from diaper changes, baths, um, breastfeeding, pumping on an app called Cubtail, which has been really awesome. Um, I do have to supplement with bottles because I am not making enough milk to satiate this girl. She is almost 13 pounds, y'all, and she is six and a half weeks old. So pretty crazy. <laughs> Once Harlow's satisfied, we'll go in the laundry room that we still need to remodel. <laughs> but look at this faucet that Nick put in here. This is, when you have a blowout, we just stick her under the faucet and it is so clean and amazing. Absolutely love it. So once she's got a clean diapy, we go into the living room. I love how she just sits up like this. She like loves looking at everything. So sit her there for a minute and then play with her because she's so cute. I'm like baby talking the microphone right now. I'll get to stop, Kristen. But I mean, I am biased, but she is adorable. But once she gets her food, she's a little happier. Then after hanging out for a few minutes, we'll do a bottle if she, I feel like she hasn't really gotten enough to eat and she's still hungry. So this is the formula Holly, which I'll link for you guys. It's pretty awesome. She burps a lot on it though. So today we are gonna try to go to dad's station. We're gonna drop Piper off for a couple days. Um, no one told me this before I had a baby, but your dog really annoys the shit out of you after you've had a baby and you're trying to take care of one and you're sleep deprived and I hate saying that, but she has been driving me crazy. So we're going to take her to the station. Dad was excited to have her come and all the guys love playing with her. So it's great. And then we're, um, we've been trying to do some organizing around here. Got a bunch of different drawers and linen cabinets that like I've got to get organized because when my house is not organized or clean, I just, it gives me like, I don't know if it's anxiety or it just like makes me feel like, like anxiety. That's what I feel like. So we're going to go buy a bunch of um, organizational stuff. Um, we need to go buy the grocery store. I need to make some healthy snacks. Having a very fussy baby that does not like to be put down makes it very challenging to eat healthy. Um, like I can't prepare like a salad necessarily unless she's sleeping and she kind of only sleeps about 40 minutes a day right now total. Um, they're just like little quick cat naps and the moment you start doing something, she's up and not having it. So that's you, I'm talking about you, you little munchkin, you little crotch goblin. So that's kind of the plan. I think I also need to go to TJ Maxx. I really dropped the ball on, well, no one told me, I guess, so I didn't know until postpartum, but I need more sports bras and um, possibly nursing bras if they're the right kind. Some are awful. Um, and I also need to get more like tube tops or tank tops that are easily like pulled down to nurse because I'm always, needing to get to my boobs, whether it is switching my little guy, my little, oh, you're paying real close attention to what I'm saying, huh? Do you understand everything? You gonna help me today? She's like, no bitch, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I need to get, I just always am having to get to my boobs, um, whether it's changing my, my little pads on there or breast pumping or giving her the boob or cleaning my nipple or, you know, just whatever, whatever. So um, my mom's actually here and so she should be getting up anytime. She loves to sleep in. So um, yeah, after we feed her here, I'm gonna see if I can make myself some oatmeal. Helps with breast milk production. Wish me luck. Okay, it's okay. Come on. Give me a burp. You gonna give me a burp or no? The way she's looking at me in this clip is like the cutest thing in the world. When this was filmed, Harlow would only sleep in your arms and only sleep for about a collective total of 40 minutes a day, which was really rough. So I'm trying to like appease her for a few minutes so I can get some food. My mom was still sleeping, so I was on my own. I 
have some supplements on the side there. That's moringa and a couple other vitamins and a prenatal. And then I've got my oatmeal. I'm trying to help my breast milk supply. It's not really working, but we're trying. Uh, a minute of peace and quiet to eat my breakfast. I was watching 90 Day Fiance and then got a little interrupted by Harlow crying and she's had gas really bad. So just been trying all the movements, all the motions to help her work her gas out. Someone asked me the other day why I have so many swings and gadgets in my living room. And I'm like, I literally don't know how to care for my child yet. Like, I don't know what she likes. She likes something different every five seconds, it feels like. So I just try everything. This ball has been absolutely amazing for burping, for bouncing. You can see her falling asleep there. And then I just gave up trying to do other stuff. And I was like, I'm just going to lay with you on the couch. This is what this stage is all about, right? Like soaking in the newbornness. Um, but as of a few days ago, I actually have gotten her to take naps, not on someone. I mean, obviously we do those too, but um, yeah, it's been really great. So if you follow me on Instagram stories, you already know that. We're gonna try to put her in the Moby. Um, I have not figured out the slings. They hate me. Let's try this. religiously is make myself an espresso in the morning and I finally got her to take a little nap in there and my Nespresso machine crapped out on me dude and I didn't have an espresso for like four days my world almost ended but we made it through here I am checking the diaper bag before we head out to make sure we have everything most underrated mom vehicle ever I thought I would be using that the most but it's actually this one because there's so much space so she just got put out by being rocked forwards and backwards. So we might be onto something. Oh, she's awake. Um, got this guy with all of our emergency stuff. This, and we are headed out for our errands. We got our diaper bag down there. We got a baby that's like half asleep, so this is good. And we got the mama, grandma and home goods. Here we go. Harlo actually did pretty good in the store until she didn't. Um, a few people have messaged me and said, I'm terrified to take my newborn out. How do you do it? And honestly, I'm in the same boat with you. Um, I just did it. Um, I also had my mom there, so I felt like I had a little bit of moral support, but I recommend making sure that you have options in your diaper bag. Make sure you have a little bit of milk, whether that's breast milk or formula, ready to go, a pacifier, diaper, wipes. Um, also, I recommend bringing like a wrap to carry your baby and wear your baby in case they don't wanna be in the stroller anymore. Just give yourself options so that you are able to give your baby what they need and comfort them so that they um, stop doing what mine is doing in the background right now. I'm gonna go grab her. Um, but I actually have a 13 hour flight to Germany coming up in about 10 days. So I'm terrified of that. So you are not alone. Um, wish me luck. These are so cute. They're like miniature. Oh, I wish you were big enough for dad. Look at that milk. Well, we went to the little grocery store by the house. Um, a couple more errands to do later, but there's way too much traffic out right now. Um, Harlow's losing her shit back there. So we're almost home and uh, yeah, we're, gonna, we're going to the grocery store later. <laughs> this is the new normal for us. The new normal. I hate hearing her cry though. That like it makes me sad. Um, I want to fix it and her. It's okay, baby. We're gonna be home soon, and uh, we can watch some TV. We're gonna make tacos tonight, and then later, once there's less traffic, we're gonna pop her in the movie, I think, and go to the grocery store, and we'll go to Walmart. Um, home Goods didn't have nearly enough organizing stuff that we were looking for, so um, yeah, we'll see what we get into at home. But uh, hopefully, we can think she needs to eat. Reality. Reality. Hashtag reality. Got this super cool playmat 
from um, someone from our baby shower. So we're doing some little baby sensory stuff. And since this video, I actually started finding some really cool baby sensory videos on my iPad and she's been loving those. And then we're gonna try breastfeeding again. And of course I'm going to supplement the bottle cause she's usually still hungry and gets a little fussy after she breastfeeds. So I just went to pump and do this. My mom's about to make some salsa and baby is crying. <laughs> so. Oh. Can mommy pump, please? No. And I am slowly but surely getting extremely good at doing things with one hand. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you saw the video. I'd love to know what you do one-handed super well as a mom. Um, I am buttering toast with one hand. Uh, that's harder than it looks. <laughs> um, yeah, trying to get some food in where I can and obviously covering Harlow's head with a napkin because I am the messiest eater in the world and everything that I eat ends up on her head. Okay, I just put her down. Let's do a stopwatch. Reset. What's your bet? 12 minutes. Okay, mine's gonna be 20. Oh. Wishful thinking. You're a betting lady. I, I am. So the napping lasted like seven plus minutes. <laughs> so my mom took her for me so I could organize the island and get that cleaned. I swear when my house is not clean, like I just can't relax. Like I hate a messy house. So I feel like any free time I have, I'm using it to clean. I stuck Harlow in the Moby to make us some dinner. My mom loves my tacos, so I told her I would make her some tacos while she was in town, but I had like a little wipe on her head because it was so freaking warm and she is such a little heater that this Moby actually, she gets too hot in it. Um, probably doesn't help that I'm like cooking over a stove also. But a few of you told me to get the Solly baby wraps that they're a little more breathable. So I have some of those coming my way and she's already getting hot here and not having it. So having to take a break from cooking, bounce her on this ball. And then my mom took her for a little bit so I could finish up dinner. We sat down to eat our tacos, watch some TV, probably junk TV. It's probably 90 Day Fiance, if I'm honest, or Married at First Sight. And Harlow actually let us eat our tacos. Um, she was a little bit fussy, picked her up. And as soon as I sat her up on the couch where she could see everything, she was a much happier baby. She loves just sitting there and like taking it all in. So that worked for a little bit and we got to finish our tacos. Then I showed Harlow some of her little newborn sensory pictures and put her in the swing for a little bit to wind her down with the lights lowered. And my mom actually took her this night for me so I could get some rest, which was awesome. So they basically stayed up for a little bit, watched TV, and then she put her to sleep. And that is my entire day with my newborn. However, every day is completely different. Thanks for watching, guys.